Papamo playing another horror game, The Park. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay. Uh, hold on. I think I forgot. All right. Very nice. Hello. I like her necklace. Okay. Sit the car, Timmy. Tom. Benjamin. I don't know your name. Wow. This Attention, I cannot. Attention, patrons. Run. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. There's literally no one here. That looks like a somebody. What? Oh, what's going on with me? I'm getting woozy. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. But take a deep breath. Hey, you know my name. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Seriously, you little piece of shit. You gonna fucking run, you little piece of shit fucking Running all day and I gotta come face your ass. Callum, where are you going? Over here. I could shout out for you. I told you to wait in the car. This way. This way where? Wait for mommy, oh Callum. you piece of shit. Come on, mommy. Oh, I there's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Okay, I can't oh. a line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees. The park well, the... is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Oh. The electricity's fucked up. Callum, the, 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 the park's closed, man. Uh, Callum, what, what's going on? What's happening? Where am I? What? How long was I on this escalator for? It turned nighttime, Jesus Christ. Oh god. The park. What happened here? Uh I must have been on that escalator for a very long time. Can I run now? I could. You little bitch, come back here. Come here. I'm gonna ground you so hard you're gonna you are gonna be like thirty years old when you not grounded. I can't run no more. You're giving mommy a heart attack. Come back. I'm dying. Eh, eh whatever. I'll just make another one. Ooh. Uh Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. What is this about? It sounds like someone's eating a cheeseburger. Hello? Who's there? Hello? What's that? What? Come on, mommy! What? What? 
Hey, what are you doing? Damn you. What? Oh. How how are these things even Callum, running? Callum, stay where you are. How is he supposed to stay how he is? He's on a duck. Or a swan. Okay, yes, it's a swan. I'm sorry. This kid's a piece of shit. Making me ride a swan duck. There's no seatbelt. Near what? a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. What? No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Uh. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Jesus. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Timmy, you hear that? You little bitch, that could be you! The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. What? Was that an episode of Halloween Wars? Because I've been watching a lot of that and I'm obsessed with it. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I Probably have your grandmother. For you. 
The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Jesus. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. She found some free maids. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Uh. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Okay, so... And then, uh. because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Uh... Um... Okay, so we got a what the fuck? Okay, the duck looked at me. The duck, the duck is evil. Get, get me off the duck. That was a long story about children being abandoned. So is your face normal now? Oh, Jesus. Have you seen my son? Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. Oh. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. What? Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay. I don't know what to say to that. No, no more accident. This place. Uh. Okay. Is that a bear with a knife in its eye? Jesus. What's the bear doing you? She's driving his van making his own business. Uh. 
Uh. Oh, the rides are on. Okay. I guess the kid has just learned how to be. Turn on all the stuff. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Okay, well, we're gonna make her dizzy in the next episode and find out what happens on that creepy thing. It's probably gonna kick me in my butt. See you on the next episode!